So I'm going to give you a tour of my old classroom, which is right here. It's on the back of a closet door, and then I have like a little two-foot wall thing in between kind of like another closet type area by the door. It's a little weird. <laughs> but then um, it, I was just sitting on the floor on some blankets and then teaching with my uh, laptop on these like little bench chairs. And it had been working fine, but I don't want to have to sit on the floor. I wanted an option. So I did uh, rearrange. Uh, this is in my art studio. And I also, I, like, I live in this room. <laughs> so if I'm home, I'm in this room. But I, my husband, I built some shelves. So my husband helped me install them last night before we went out of town. And so I'll show you my new classroom. I'm so excited. Actually, I'm acting like I have to go a long ways. I'm going to stand up and turn around. So... <laughs> So this is just the start of it. Those are the shelves. So I, I recorded how I did them, and I didn't make them super fancy. I got the cheapest pieces, and then the nails I was going to use uh, weren't going to work. So I used, because they were, the heads were too small, and so I used these little S-hooks I used for framing. So these are actually, if you buy a framing kit, you can get these. But I thought they'd be they're practical because they're big enough to hold this in, and I can also hang butterfly clips from them and then hang things below. There's this rod that just slides because I didn't want to do it the right way. <laughs> Um, but I, I could. I sanded the boards. I'll show you how I did. I'll show you how I did the shelves. They were pretty straightforward, not too difficult. And I have it set up so that this shelf in the middle, this section is if I'm sitting or standing, and the top one is if I'm standing, and then below this is if I'm sitting, and like I said, I can hang things here. So yeah, so we'll see. And I have a, a stand that, uh, is like this. I'm sorry, the other half of the studio is a big mess because I just like pushed everything over there. So I'm like using half of the room and then I have the stand in there. Like, like I've taken up half the room with my classroom. So, but I've all, I'm also, this is where I paint. So I moved this over here. So it'll, it'll come together. I'm not terribly worried. It doesn't matter. This is like, um, I used to, when we lived in an apartment, I used to like take over the apartment and we, it was bad. Um, so here, this is the room like I can take over and kind of do what I want in this room. And so it works. I have an exercise ball that I'll teach on for lower and then standing will be up here. So like, you'll see like this when I'm standing, my laptop will actually be right about here. And then when I'm sitting, my laptop will be right about here. Um, so maybe more like that. Probably. I don't know. I marked out on the walls <laughs> all the places because <laughs> I had a bunch of nails. Like they had hangers up here. You can't see the nails, so never mind. I had hangers on. I hung painting prints from the hangers on nails, and they weren't in very far. I've always been wanting to do something like this. I also display artwork here. And when I do, I do sometimes do like uh, not house shows. I do most years. I've done art in the park. This year I'm probably not going to do art in the park because I just have health stuff. Um, but I might do a studio tour, and so like when I do a studio tour, I can put artwork up here. So yeah, so that's my new VIP kid classroom. I'm super excited. I mean, it's super empty, but I'm going to move that stuff over here. Hey, so I'm in my new classroom. It's not totally done yet, but it's, I'm excited. It is coming along. 